Welcome. <laughs> this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the month of January 2019. I want to say Happy New Year to each and every person. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. And I want to say to each and every person, um, this year is going to be the changing of guards. There is going to be a lot of disasters in this year. There's going to be volcano eruptions. There's going to be earthquake eruptions. There is going to be more um, evidence of star seed coming to this planet because, um, you know, we are living on a planet of multi dimensions beams. So we're going to be seeing more of these star seeds coming in on the planet. So we need to be aware and ready. Um, it is just going to be a such um, a powerful year, um, which I should give a message about, and I will give the message about this because a lot of changes are coming in. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is just basically give the message without the tarot. Okay, so I will just um, I was just uh, reprogram um, this and just give the message now. Okay, 2019, be aware, um, people. So, um, there is a lot of star seeds and beams who are here who like to bring forward the message. The Palladians are here, and the Armatons are here. There are um, the Eye Princess, uh, the Goddesses, uh, um, the White Brotherhood, and. Uh, uh, there is so many um, spiritual beings who are here. So we're going to call in the Mahatma energies to come in um, before we deliver this message because um, it's going to be a message for 2019. Um, the game is over, people. Um, shit is about to hit the fence, okay? The game is over and shit is about to hit the fence, okay? That is 2019, okay? So... 2019 is going to drive you as a person to choose for yourself, to make a choice for yourself, whether or not you're going to be um, um, learning to balance the material world and the spiritual world, or you're just going to be messing around and you're not making any chance choices and the universe is going to make a choice for you. Because what is happening is that Mother Earth basically wants to get off all the people with lower energy base, okay? So, what is transpiring and what is happening is that because Mother Hurt is basically so full, um, what she's trying to do is basically bring back the Palladian, the pa pa polarity of love, and the Palladians are coming in to make the shift of, of alignments. The nine are here. The the group of nine is also here. They want to bring forth their messages. Okay. Um, the reptilians are here they want to also um, bring forth their messages so and they are connected with the moon that's what they want to give and they are um, going to be coming in as shifting energies um, the people who have um, um, their DNA will be protected and um, all the multi, multi beam um, facilities facets of who we are in our DNA um, the part that um, doctors are not aware of um, what is in our junk DNA well they are coming in and they are going to be aligning all of us who has their DNAs okay so huge shift people huge shift huge shift of consciousness huge shift of consciousness it's all about you taking back your birthright. It's all about you um, asking um, for answers, okay, towards what exactly is happening, okay? Um, for many, many years, because this planet is basically how old, but this planet has been revitalizing itself. Mother Heart has been basically revitalizing herself, and she does this through fire, um, hurricane water, and volcano eruptions. Now, 2019 is going to begin a shift okay um, there is um, an island what came up out of the sea and it's because of the eruption of a volcano now these things are going to basically happening another thing that is going to be happening is that um, 
starseed beams um, are who use um, the energy of the sea bottom are going to be start coming up and making themselves uh, um, be present and known okay so there are people who says um, ET extraterrestrials there are no extraterrestrials they are star seeds okay each and every one of these um, beams that are coming in they have um, multifaceted beam on this planet also okay so there's not only humans on this planet there are multi um, dimensional star seeds I'm a star seed um, that came from a totally different um, solar system and came to this planet to help with the ascension of uh, um, to help with the ascension um, to um, move this planet in a more positive vibration so I exist on a nine dimension frequency and my existence is from love so this is why it is very hard for me to live on this planet because I was born on this planet I came in through a human being but I am not of this planet okay so there is a difference because people are going to be saying oh so if you were born of a human being yes but my soul is not of this planet I was never reincarnated on this planet every time I come to this planet I volunteer to come to this planet okay I have never had a life on this planet uh, because I wanted to, to become a human being and have the instinct and have the same thing I've always recoordinated to come to this planet to help uh, with the evaluation and the evolution of um, humans okay so let's get that out of the way and trust me people I know who I am and that is what the shift is all about It's for people to understand who they are and not all of us we look human and outside we are human but as soon as the veil of illusion which is the third eye begin to open which is going to be in um, some people already have it because some people are already vibrating on a fifth dimension frequency so some people already have it some people are, haven't had this yet and this is why um, they're about to open and people are going to be blown um, away okay you're basically going to be blown away because you're going to be seeing your neighbors and all of a sudden you're speaking to your neighbors and the veil of pollution left and you're seeing a totally different being and you're thinking what what the hell is going on am I crazy no you're not crazy your neighbor takes on the energy and the body of a human being, but actually it is a star seed from a different dimension. So people, get ready because you are, um, it is the beginning and um, over the next five years, this is going to be, um, the, the, the situation is going to be more effective, more effective, more effective, more effective. And um, what is going to transpire is that worldwide this is going to be happening because I know uh, several European countries who just want to know the truth about what is happening because they're seeing these star seed and these star beams coming out. People don't want to talk about it. A lot of countries are aware of this. They all have connection. China is one country that knows about this. So we here also knows about that most European countries do know this world and this hurt is not run by earthlings it is run by the intergalactic beings okay who are the intergalactic beings um, they are a fleet of star seeds who live in a spaceship above the earth they govern um, the solar system they govern this solar system okay and in that starship is placed all the multi-dimension star seeds from all over the solar system because this is just one solar system there are many many solar system okay as we look at the dark hole um, a dark hole there could be another solar system in place of a dark hole so um, 
if you watch um, National Drag Free or um, UFL channels and that sort of a thing, um, they will explain to you that um, in a dark hole, which is just a vacuum, and it's just very, very dark. The deeper you go, there could be also solar system that is there. Now, there is another um, information that is going to be coming out of another planet um, that is basically, it is, um, it, it, it became um, a rock, but it's, um, it's a planet. It's called the Novia, okay? Um, so that is there. Um, people are going to be, and people try to move to Mars, and um, the beings who are on Mars, and they're like smiling, um, saying um, no, okay? Um, it's not, um, uh, it is not eligible for human beings to move to Mars, and that is the thing about human beings. Your ego is too high, okay? You need to calm your bloody ego down because this is what they are saying. Um, what is happening is that human beings, um, and that is the heartlings, okay? Not the star seeds, because we are star seeds know that we are only here to do our duties and we're going to be leaving this planet. But for um, the, the human beings, that those are the ones whose ego is so high, okay? Another thing is that um, there is going to be a virus that is about um, to come out in 2019. This virus is going to be stopping um, travel between certain countries, okay? Um, it's a virus um, that needs to depopulate um, this hurt, that's why the virus was made, and that's why the virus is going to be coming in. It's actually to depopulize this herd, okay? Because we're overpopulated. Um, now, some people will see it as being evil or wicked. No, it's not. It is that there is a purpose, and everything. Um, ha and there is a plan and a purpose for everything, okay? And uh, the herd was made for five hundred thousand people. Now there are billions. And billions of people that is living in an organism that we are basically destroying and what is happening is that um, the um, white brotherhood um, and the intergalactic fleets are working together to bring back um, mother hurt and father hurt to its normal original form as I've been saying to people since 2012, people have been um, not understanding basically what is transpiring. December 2000, December 2012, the 21st of December 2012, there was supposed to be three um, nights of darkness, but it was shift, and it was shift through the consciousness of humanity. So that means you can make the shift because of the information that was given out they decided to shift it because if we had only three nights and three days of darkness it will be the come the come um, the connection of heaven and her which humanity is not aware of and can't deal with because you can't even deal with being with each other on this planet having different colors different opinions so life is about the ship and it's going to be affecting each and every person on this planet you will choose who you want to be and what you want to be you will choose to understand if there's UFO and if we're living here alone you will choose to use 2% of your brain or 5% of your brain but the choice is going to be yours as we move forward to 2032 it's about to make shifts there is going to be water disasters of water which is going to affect um, the world now um, 
what we have seen humanity to do is to return the energy of Venus, the planet of Jesus, the mother of love, and by these disasters happening, and um, that is how um, people reconnect with each other and understand that love is the only thing that is real. I want to say to each other, um, each and every person, um, the Palladians um, heal the heart chakra. Um, uh, where I'm from, we're basically spiritual, peaceful people. We, um, we bring in the spirituality of human and we help people to understand, to learn to love themselves. We are all connected and at this moment we are working with different people from different um, star seed, which Oracle, Oracle Dave is one of the oldest um, energy vibration on this planet. And this is why he's, he's aware of how to manage certain energy. Everything is energy. Everything around you is energy. You are energy. Okay? Some people are going to be realizing that when they look at a mirror or look at a wall, they can basically see um, just um, the molecules um, going in the wall because nothing is fast. We, um, we imagine that it is fast and that is it. Okay? We imagine that things are fast. We imagine that everything is in a structure, but it's not really a structure. It's what we give our imagination so we could understand what is around us. Because if we could just walk through a door, um, why make a door? <laughs> it's basically that. 2009 is uh, um, two plus um, one is three and nine is 12. One plus two is three. It is the ohm. It is the oneness. It is the femininity. It is who we are. It is the ohm. It is the ik. It is the I. It is the we. It is the connection of one consciousness. As we understand this, we understand who we are. As we look at someone else, we understand that the reflection that we're seeing at someone else is love, as we are love. When we understand what is unconditional love, meaning you know that the same person who is hurting you, you're loving them just as how you would want to be loved, that's when you are at one with yourself. And that is the most important thing to do. I am on that journey now. It's my last journey. I will not return to this planet. Um, and we need to understand that as we realize that life um, and that we are not everlasting, only our souls is everlasting, but our bodies will change, um, then we will realize who we are and how we are um, the um, creator. We are the copy of creator. We can create and manifest anything in our lives if we choose to. It is the time when there's going to be huge disasters, water disaster, flooding. Um, um, there is going to be a lot of uh, um, star seed that is coming out through the oceans. Okay, so. Um, you may be on the beach and you see the thing comes up on the water and it goes up in the sky um, because these star seeds are here they have been here since all the wars um, they need to be here um, uh, it, it, is, it is not a secret um, anymore for uh, the light workers and all of us that is trying to get the information out um, they've always been here Ever since we were born, um, they showed up in the 80s for us to change our consciousness. They make um, crop circles to awaken us. Um, uh, they came and repair 
the people who were taken from for from um, for spaceships, um, the people who came back and they have these injections and the stuff. It is something that you made a contract with your soul family. They are your soul family, okay? The people and the bloodline that we were born in, it has a lot to do with who we are, okay? Um, but they're not our family. We do. We were just born in that bloodline to heal a certain um, a sickness or um, break certain curses or um, mend certain um, disruption um, that came through that bloodline. Okay, so um, I knew the people who came from. Um, the planetary system that I came from or the solar system that I came from I knew them I knew it was um, who they were um, because we connect on a different spiritual aspect um, because they had to um, make sure that I ate the right thing and I was born in the, the right place because each and every person on this planet is born wherever you were born it is for a reason okay so sometimes people find out that they are born certain place but they're not connected with the place or the people sometimes people were born certain place and they have horrible horrible traumatic situation and they um, they they um, immigrate to somewhere else because of the trauma okay so there is a lot of things that people are going to be connecting and reconnecting with themselves and understanding why they have been um, going through a certain um, certain sort of a thing in their life. Why don't they connect with certain things? Why don't they um, feel certain ways as other people do? And that sort of a thing. And this is what I say to people. I am on this planet but I'm not of this planet because I know who I am okay and whenever you realize who you are uh, most of the people who are unable to connect on this planet to understand um, the thing that is so painful is to see each other urging each other it's because it was meant to be that was not the um, that was what was meant to um, to happen okay and um, it was supposed to be um, of milk and honey and it can be and there are certain energies certain people certain structures um, that has changed um, that way okay another thing that they're saying is that we need to learn to respect each color each culture and each group each social circle and each society it's very important that you all learn to respect okay there are people who speaks about different societies and groups okay we all need to work together and we need to respect the boundaries of these um, societies and group okay um, there is going to be an awaken of all the witches um, all the shamans, um, all the magicians, all the fireworker. Um, it's as if um, we are all going to find our true purpose in life, beginning from this year, 2019. Um, a lot of people are going to be um, a little bit off, or they feel as if they are off because um, of things that is happening in their lives and what they're seeing and they're realizing that everything around them is being shifted. Um, there's going to be a lot of information about time travel. Um, the best way um, there is time travel. So it's, um, um, they these people are being honest, okay? As crazy as their story is, they are being honest. Okay, there is time travel, so they are basically um, honest because um, they're multi-dimension of this hurt. Okay, they're multi-dimension. Um, 
Think about a circle in a circle in a circle in another circle in another circle in another circle in another circle. And what you should understand is that you yourself create these multi dimensions, okay? So we are living in the past, the present, and the future, okay? That's kind of hard to understand, but um, I will give seminars and I will give. Uh, information about this and this is why I basically did on demand because not everyone is ready for the information so information that people who are sh at shift from the fourth dimension to the fifth dimension um, will basically receive this information okay um, 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 light workers and star seeds star seeds star seeds and light workers are different star seeds are multi-dimensional beings light workers or earthling who are um, um, taking on the light body so that they can become ascendance masters angels and work towards the night dimension where you connect back to source um, the animals that are night di night dimension is the horses um, the unicorns the angels um, the fairy um, 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 the 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 um, oh, there is so much. Okay, all right. Let me um, see. Um, there are bush fairies where there are fairies that lives on the tree. There are kabouters. I there um, there's so many different uh, animal energies that, that you work with. Um, what I'm gonna work with this year is a lot of hunt animal. Um, spirit guides, spirit guides, because each and every person has an animal spirit guides. Um, each and every one of us came through the evolution of being an animal. So whatever animal that you're very close to, that was the animal that you were with, okay? Or you were, all right? Um, the animal spirit beams and we are guided to work with the animal spirit beams in this year and this is what we're going to be doing like most of the months most of the weeks um, the animal energies are going to be coming in because we need to teach people and help people to understand the Palladians are going to be coming in first because there are multiple um, um, they are so loving beings so they want to come in and teach us love because we need to understand that. And then um, the spiritual beings, which people from my solar system is going to be coming in, which is already here. And um, the awakening is going to be starting um, because then and there more um, star beams are going to be start coming in. Okay, more star beams. So what is going to ha um, happen is that starseed people are going to be connecting. When um, their soul family come in, they will be able to telepathically communicate with them, whether verbally or telepathically, with their own starseeds. Okay? Um, some people are going to be start to get in downloads, the awakening, shift of consciousness. Um, you're going to start seeing 111, 11, 11. Um, uh, two, two, two is positive thinking. Three, three, three is the ascendance masters trying to get your attention. Four, four, four is the angel trying to get your attention. Five, five, five. It is a huge shift is about to come, and this is the year that you should learn all these double number, triple numbers, because these triple numbers is a message. Five, five, five means something huge. A disaster is about to happen. A disaster that is going to be affecting um, the whole world. Okay. Um, five, five, five always come up um, before an earthquake because the tremor starts. Um, once you have animals that lives with you, they feel it before because they can hear it because they hear the simplest of sounds. There is going to be a earthquake that is sit, is going from California right back to Canada, and this earthquake is going to make the shift of the hurt crust. And in the next ten years, there's going to be um, 
the sinking of islands and the reappearing of new islands um, because the hurt is shifting the crest around um, we're not all the only one on this on the surface of uh, this hurt but in hollow hurt there are also spiritual beings that live in hollow hurt some people will start seeing them coming up if you were supposed to be working with them or connect with them they're going to be start coming up they're blonde um, um, very tall six seven feet tall blonde hair blue eyes the ladies because the ladies have been come um, connecting with men via the dream time um, and some of you men whether or not you want to say it have been having sex with these um spiritual beings um and it's it's a sort of uh, um they are taking your dna and um um making new um um uh um new evolution people okay so um um, there's a lot of men that this has been happening to and you do not want to talk about it and you are afraid that people will look at you differently and I'm saying to you I know it has been happening if you want to talk to me you can always uh, um, do a chat okay a super chat via um, YouTube or you can um, ask me for a reading where we could do a video reading which I'm going to start doing so that people can more um, communicate and interact I can interact with people um, do not be afraid of what you see what you hear there is a lot of secrets um, that was kept from humanity that is um, going to be coming out and um, there is a lot of um, people are going to be start saying why didn't we know this and they're going to be saying because you weren't ready and it's true humans are not ready to remove the veil of illusion okay because some of you look at me as if I'm crazy no I'm one of the smartest people on this planet okay I know a lot of information and this is why I gave you the book with all the information or remove the veil of illusion for you to be aware of what is about to happen on this planet okay so your opinion really um, I use 10% of my brain so and even more so um, it's all about educating you guys okay so what you might your opinion about me um, it doesn't really matter it's about educating you guys it's about showing you letting you understand what we've never taught what was never taught to us letting you know that if you feel as if you don't belong here you don't belong here it's because you are from a totally different um, soul family a totally different solar system that reacts differently than the ego base energy vibration of this planet okay there are a lot of rituals there are a lot of uh, social circles there is a lot of uh, um, rituals comes up in different forms you can have groups that is going to be bonded through sexual rituals you're going to be having the shamans you're going to be having the witches you're going to be having um, the astros you're going to be having um, the star seeds you're going to be having the moon goddesses um, you know just about all the fairies are going to be coming out and to know who a fairy is they always have little plum eyes very skinny um, they always um, keep their small structure fairies okay I love the fairies I love the witches I love love the unseen of what it is now these information was all secretly on you um, this information was given on you secretly but this information was given through nursery rhymes they were given through fairy tales 
and nursery rhyme fairy tales and movies or information that is transmitting information to everyone okay so let's look at all and let's go back and there's a lot of movies that you guys can see okay that has specific information first the matrix second 44,000 third um uh, flow flakes flow um, it's seen the other world it's 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 a it's a movie um, oh my god flow but it's 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 um it's there, there are so much oh there is another one um, Avon Avon that is um, a place uh, in America where just strange things happen in that village each and every person in that village have um, a secret things all of these movies have information okay America is one of the most mystical countries in the world okay and the people who lives in America needs to make the shift if you don't make the shift the shift is going to happen because here in America is where all the beams and the star seats are going to be start coming in they are going to be coming in especially in the countries because they're all coming in already but they're going to start coming in in the countries that have been working with them for a very long time okay so are we as a people already um, to meet um, your soul family not your um, family not your bloodline your soul family there's two different things your soul family or the people who you meet and you connect directly with them you can speak to them without saying anything you feel at home and you feel the comfort in their present those are your soul family your bloodline is the family you were born in your birth mother and father okay or um, if you are adopted you're going to be finding that a whole lot of people who are adopted is going to be going back tracing their bloodlines okay because their bloodlines has to be healed um there is so much that is about to hit this planet um disasters um new viruses new diseases um a shift of consciousness with people that are going they're going to be People are going to be looking and forming new groups um, to find the similarities. Um, people are going to be um, um, looking for their um, soul, their soulmate, their um, soul contractors. Um, life is about to change, people, and it's going to be huge. Um, 2019 is huge. It's a huge change that we need to be ready for. And remember, when these disasters come, please, 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 when these disasters come, help each other. Because it's all about returning um, to the normal and learning to help each other, okay? So, thank you for supporting my channel. Um, it's um it's gonna be for a lot of you it's it's gonna be um a year where you feel as if your whole world is collapsing but things needs to shift and end before you can rebirth so look at 2019 as a year of rebirth it's rebirth it's understanding again who you are is taking on the ship of consciousness of who you are and understanding that we weren't told who we who we were when we were born because our parents never knew that okay some of us came in and knew that we came here for a purpose and we um, live our life knowing that we have to deliver whatever the message is and whatever we came here to do learn to respect each other learn to understand each other be loyal to each other and it will be 
um, a promising view. I want to say thank you so much, and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful new year. Namaste.